Lucky number 20. This is the last of our exclusively business-related bad calls. We'll certainly feature bad business calls in the future, but from here on out, they won't be the only ones we focus on. We'll be making fun of celebrities, genre cliche, history, current affairs, whatever takes our fancy, hopefully whatever takes your fancy too. So, get ready for that. In the meanwhile, let's talk about the Nintendo episode. Now, some people have called this outright racist, but I want to draw an important distinction here. We're not using stereotypes to make fun of Japanese people. We're making fun of stereotypes themselves and, I guess by extension, of people people who take them seriously. So that's why you have a ninja performing an act of seppuku, which is really more of a samurai thing to do. He's also using a full-bladed katana where traditionally one would use a tanto, a short blade. Much easier to disembowel oneself correctly that way. Also, the inclusion of the enemy crazy eyes freeze frame helped push things into absurd territory, which is absolutely where I wanted this episode to be. The point was to reduce us as performers and by extension the stereotypes we were performing to the ridiculous, in the hopes that it would signal to viewers that we were very aware of how stupid it was to suggest that white people could really realistically portray Japanese people just by donning slipshod ninja masks and speaking in poorly pronounced Japanese words. The dialogue's all nonsense, of course. The white ninja speaks only in the names of Japanese film directors, the male red ninja speaks only in the names of Japanese electrical companies, and the female red ninja speaks only in the names of Japanese foodstuffs. I'm ashamed to admit that that's a take on a joke we stole from Scary Movie 4. Oh, the shame. But I like to get lowbrow every now and then. Thanks for watching, kids. I'll see you at episode 21. <laughs>